I'm being so technical here. The spongy dealie and the opener dealie. Next we have a concealer with a Chester hair on it. Added bonus. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got another new at the drugstore related video for y'all today. Today is going to be all about new products from Maybelline. So I have a bunch of products here. I'm pretty sure that I have most of their new releases. I think there's one thing I for sure didn't pick up. Maybe others, but I'm pretty sure I have most of their new releases here to run through with you. So I'm going to show you swatches, share my thoughts with you, do some little mini reviews, and just kind of run through a bunch of new products from Maybelline. So let's get to it. So first starting with a foundation from them. This is the Dream Cushion Fresh Face Liquid Foundation on the go. And I got the shade 10 Porcelain, which typically in Maybelline foundations, I have to go a little bit lighter. And this was actually the lightest one on the display I was looking at. So... Um, and it matches me really pretty close. And I'm typically not porcelain, I'm usually more just like fair. So I had to go with the lightest and it does match me. That's just a little side FYI. So anyway, it's a cushion foundation, super cute um, packaging. I love the packaging on it. And you open it up and it looks like, you know, a typical cushion foundation. It's got your little spongy dealy there, a mirror up here, and then it's got the little opener dealy. I'm being so technical here. The spongy dealie and the opener dealie. So you open the opener dealie that you really want to keep sealed tightly so it doesn't dry out. And then there you have your cushion here. So looks like a lot of others, you know, that I've tried from other brands. Um, I've worn this multiple times. Again, I'm wearing it on my face today. And I really do like this for fresh makeup sort of days. I mean, even honestly, like now, now that I have powder and everything on it, it has good on it, on my face, on it, on my face. Now that I have everything on, I feel like it does really come together and it really does have good coverage. Like the reason I say it's more for kind of light makeup days is I find that it kind of fades off on me. And if I touch my face, it transfers off. So it's not super long wearing that I found with my combo oily skin, but I love the way that it applies. It looks very skin like. It just covers really well. So first application, when I first get it on, I love how it looks. Feels nice, looks nice. It's just later in the day that I notice it kind of breaking apart and not lasting as well. So that's why I would wear it on, you know, kind of easy makeup days where I'm not super concerned about it lasting all day because I do really enjoy the product. I like using it and I think it looks nice. So just for a little frame of reference, the foundation is $15.99 on the Ulta website. So next we have a concealer with a Chester hair on it. Added bonus. This is the Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer and I got it in 10 Fair. I really don't like this very much. This is $7.99 on the Ulta website. Um, it is creamy and like when I first was like messing with it, I thought, oh, okay, like I think I'm gonna like this, but Honestly, like once, okay, so on my, like on my hand, I like the way it looks, but when I've tried to use it under my eyes as kind of a brightening concealer, the texture of it just gets kind of weird under my eyes. It looks kind of heavy, sort of like oily, greasy, um, just doesn't blend very well, looks kind of heavy. I just don't like the way it looks on my skin under my eyes, which is where I would want to use a brightening concealer. So I'm not a big fan of this. This was um, the one product that really was like a meh, not a big fan of from the new products from them. Another new concealer, highlighter, brightening sort of product from them is the Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter. And I got this in Light 300. So it really is kind of like an interesting product. This is $7.99 on the Ulta website. So it's basically supposed to be like a highlighter for under your brows, but it's kind of, I mean, kind of like a concealer basically. It says shaped and highlighted brows, creamy highlighter plus angled tip applicator. Yes. So I've used this a couple times. I am wearing this under my brows, um, like right in this area today. I like this. I mean, I feel like it does work. It is brightening. Um, it blends well. So I like it. Do I think it's like a completely necessary product? Not really. Like I think that you can probably use your regular concealer, just a, you know, a lighter, brighter color for brightening under your brows. I think you could just use your regular concealer for that. 
um, but I do feel like this works well and looks nice. Um, it is a little bit like the applicator on it, it's this angled sort of a thing. Um, it is a little bit hard to get like precise application. I find it to be just a little bit large, but you know, I have smaller lid area and space, so that might beat it. Beat it. That might beat it. <laughs> that might be it. That might be the problem happening. So, yeah, I mean, I do like this, but I don't think it's like an absolutely necessary product, but I like how it worked. And just a side note, I love Maybelline concealers. I think they make some of the best concealers in the drugstore. I love the Fit Me Concealer. I love the Dream Lumi Concealer. I love these, the Master Conceal by Face Studio. So if you're looking for concealers, I think Maybelline is like a great go-to brand for concealers. These two new ones, I do like the brow one, but again, I don't think it's totally necessary. The other one, brightening concealer, not a big fan. I guess that they reformulated their single shadows or came out with new shades or something, because these are listed as new. These are the Expert Wear eyeshadows, and they are $3.99 each. I got two different shades. This one is 10 Soft Pearl, and this other one is 150 New York Silver. So the packaging looks the same, but I guess something's different about them. So I wasn't super duper hopeful about these because I haven't been impressed with Maybelline singles in the past. Um, but I mean, 50% is good here. Of the two that I got, this one is really, really pretty. That New York Silver is gorgeous. This is kind of what I was expecting, this 10 Soft Pearl. It's, you know, not super duper impressive there. Maybe it's kind of like a subtle face highlight that would be pretty. But, you know, that I tried to wear that on my eyes one day and it just really didn't show up very much at all. This one I used under my eyes one day and it was really pretty. So that one showed up and that was really nice. So I don't know that I'm gonna go out and purchase a bunch more colors, but I might try like one or two others just to see if it's more like this quality because that is really pretty. But that's just a little bit disappointing. Then they have a new eyeshadow palette. This is the 24K Nudes palette. This is what it looks like here. I was really excited to try this because I'd heard that this is supposed to be an improvement in formula on the other palettes that look a lot like this. So I was really curious to see if it would be. It does come with a little dual-ended spongy thingy here. Again, technical term, spongy thingy here. So this is a really fun collection of colors. It's very like metallic-y, very kind of a lot of metal sort of shades in here. It does just have three matte shades. This one is matte, this one is matte, and this one is matte. So I would love if it had some kind of a matte transition shade, but I can, you know, I can like mix those today. I just used my bronzer in my crease, but that's something I would change about it, but I do love that it has a matte brow bone highlight, so that's really nice. So it's a fun kind of like, jewel toned metallic sort of a palette. Here are the swatches on this. It's really pretty. I really do like it. Um, I feel like it is an improvement on the other ones that I've tried, especially the nudes. I do really like the blushed nudes palette, but the nudes palette, I feel like this is an improvement on. Not like a vast improvement, but I do think it's really good. Like I will be using this palette and getting some use out of it for sure. Love that one right there. I do have this on my lids today. Um, I first applied it without MAC Fix Plus just to see what it would look like not foiled. And it was still showing up and still looking nice, but using MAC Fix Plus and using it wet, it just kicked it up a notch. So I would say if you want these to be like super metallic and really intense, I would use, especially like the metallic-y lid sort of shades, I would use them with some kind of a mixing medium to intensify them. But I mean, those dark shades, are really nice. They're pigmented. I, I like this palette. Like, is it the best drugstore palette I've ever tried? Probably not, but I do really, really like it. They have a new mascara. This is the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara. It says fully loaded volume in one coat. I got the shade Black is Black, and it says eight out of 10 saw root to tip volume instantly. And it's got some like comparison pictures there. So this is $8.49 on the Ulta website. Forgot to mention the eyeshadow palette is $11.99, the one that I just showed. So I've tried this mascara multiple times. I am wearing this on my upper lashes today, only this, and I really like this mascara. Love the packaging on it. I think it's so pretty to look at. And then it's got like a really 
nice wand. Like I really do like this wand. I think it's easy to use. It's a brush sort of a wand. Um, and it's a big wand, but I still find that I can get to every lash with it. And I just really like what this does to the lashes. It does build a lot of volume. It does look intense. It looks dramatic, but I applied a lot of coats to get this. So I wouldn't say the volume in one coat, at least not what kind of volume I'm looking for, because I like really intense lashes. Like I want to look like I'm wearing false lashes if I can get close to that look. That's what I'm going for. So I just apply a lot of coats of mascara. So didn't just use one coat on this for sure. I honestly probably used three coats, but I like the end product. I like the end result, the end product and the end result. I like how it looks after it's all on there. So I think it's a great mascara. They have a new liquid highlighter. This is the Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter. And I got the shade 100 Light Iridescent. This is so pretty. I love the packaging on it, that it's kind of that like ombre, iridescent-y, duochrome-y sort of a look to it. So love the packaging. This is so beautiful. So this shade right here is kind of like a light, pinky, champagne, white sort of a highlight. It's really, really beautiful. I like this on my cheekbones. I went crazy with the highlight today. I have this and then something else on top of it that I'm about to mention. I mean, I went ham. I mean, I got some crazy highlight going on, but I really, really like it. Like it's just a beautiful shade, blends into the skin well. I like it under highlighters, um, powder highlighters. I like it by itself. I think it would be beautiful even maybe mixed into a foundation. Haven't tried it that way yet, but I bet it'd be really pretty. Just a little bit of it mixed in there. It's just really, really intense and really, really metallic. It does have a kind of, well, I don't smell it now, but when I'm like applying it, it has a little bit of an alcoholy scent, but that doesn't bother me really. So I'm really liking this. I think it's beautiful. I think of all their new releases, I was most excited for this. This is the Master Blush by Face Studio Color and Highlight Kit. And this is $12.99 on the Ulta website. And I believe that this is the only shade that this comes in because I'm not seeing any more colors listed there and I haven't seen any more colors listed anywhere else either. So I believe that this is the only shade that this comes in. But oh my goodness, I love this palette. I think it's amazing. You get three different matte shades of blushes here. You get a nice peach, a pink, and kind of like a berry maroon sort of color. Then you get a highlight here that's kind of a champagne, slightly pinky, but it's like a deeper pink. So it's not that light, icy sort of a pink. It's a little bit deeper. So I think that's nice because I think it's going to work for a lot more skin tones than like an icy pink would. So that is what you get in the palette. Here are the swatches. I love this. I feel like the swatches don't do it justice though, because I feel like a lot of times blushes don't really always show their greatness in a swatch. You know what I mean? So I feel like these are kind of doing that too. Um, but on the face, when you get these on your face, they work. They blend well, they wear well, they layer nicely. What I've been doing is using the deepest shade a little bit lower on my cheeks, and then one of the brighter ones a little bit higher, and then the highlighter. So I have this one on today, and this one, and the highlighter. And again, I went crazy with my highlighter. So I mean, you're seeing a lot of highlighter on my cheeks right now, but I do have some of the blushes on there as well. So yeah, I think it works nicely. I love the colors they chose in here. I love that it has a highlight too. I really, really do love the new L'Oreal blush palette. I think that one's awesome too. But it's, I think, $17.99 and this is $12.99. And I think this is just as nice. So I'm loving them both, but I'm liking the price point on this one a lot more. Now onto some lip products. This is the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. And this is $7.99 on the Ulta website and I got just one of the shades. This is 110 Purely Nude, and on me it looks really peachy. So it's not really the color that I was expecting. I was expecting it to be um, less peachy, and it's just more of a peachy sort of a color. So I do have this on today. I have it on with something else. I'm liking these liners. I think they're nice. Like They have a really nice creamy texture to them. They're very soft to the point of where I was like applying this one today and I actually like broke the pencil and didn't even realize. I was like, what is happening here? And I'd broken the pencil. So 
be careful with it. It's a delicate flower. Um, it's very, very creamy, so you don't have to like go crazy with it like I was doing um, to get it on your lips. But it has a nice creamy texture to it. Um, it's almost like that kind of, yeah, I think it's almost like the formula that you could wear this by itself. Like it's creamy enough that you could probably be comfortable wearing this by itself. So they had a bunch of different colors. It says um, 14 different color options on the Ulta website. So yeah, I'm liking these. They have some new Baby Lips products. These are the Baby Lips Color Balm Crayons and they are $6.99 on the Ulta website. I'm just using the Ulta website as a frame of reference just to kind of give you guys an idea of how much these products cost. So they might vary based on where you purchase them, but on Ulta they're $6.99. So these are supposed to be bold bursts of bright juicy color and 12 hour hydration. So I got three different shades. I got this kind of nudie color, which is Toasted Taupe. That's what I'm wearing today, but I do have it with that lip liner, so it's making it look a little bit more peachy. And then this one is kind of like an everyday sort of a shade. This is Blush Burst. And then I got kind of a reddish shade. This is Sassy Scarlet. So I've worn these multiple times, and I really like them. Like for an everyday, um, just comfortable, glossy sort of a lip product, I like them for that. Now, I will feel more comfortable, and I do feel more comfortable, which these are the ones I've tried. I feel more comfortable wearing a glossy sort of a lip product in like a lighter or more everyday color. I haven't worn this one yet because I'm a little bit afraid of it just because it's, it's very creamy for sure. Um, these do show a little bit of dryness on the lips, but then they seem to hydrate and kind of make that disappear. So when you first put it on, I found that it's kind of like, oh, it's accentuating the dryness, but then it's like it hydrates my lips and the dryness sort of gets better. So I'm really liking them. I think they're comfortable. Um, as far as wear time, no, I don't know. I wouldn't say 12 hours of hydration. Maybe. I mean, I guess if you could say that they're kind of treating your lips and then that treat, that like hydration stays with your lips, yes, but definitely not the color or anything like that lasts for 12 hours. I'd say a few hours they last on the lips, but you know, they look pretty, they feel comfortable, they smell nice, they're kind of like a, like a, I don't know, like a fruity vanilla. They're really more vanilla, but they're almost like a super sweet vanilla where they're almost like smelling fruity. You know what I mean? But they're sweet smelling. I like the scent, but it's pretty strong. But once you get it on your lips, you probably won't notice it after a little bit. And then last thing that I have to show y'all, they have their new Color Sensational Into Matte Nudes Lipsticks. And these are $7.99 on the Ulta website. They have 10 different shades and actually have all 10 shades. So if you want to see these in action, swatches on my lips, swatches on my hand, all the swatches of all the different shades. Check out my lip swatch party on my channel. I will link it for you in a card. Um, so that's where you can see like more information about them and more of the shades. But just to quickly mention like what do I think about them? I really, really like them. I love Maybelline lipsticks. I They just can do no wrong in my mind. I think they're awesome. This is the shade 545 Beige Babe. It's a really pretty like pinky nude. Really, really beautiful. These are like a really nice kind of um, satin, creamy sort of a finish to them. Finish-wise, they remind me a little bit more of the Loaded Bolds, but I think they're really beautiful on the lips. Very comfortable. They have a bunch of different shades in the line, but check out that video for more information about the shades. All right, guys, so those are all the new goodies that I have to show you from Maybelline today. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about these products. If you are on the hunt for them, which ones intrigue you most? If you've already tried them out, which ones are your favorites? I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.